Alrighty, so in this video I want to show you how that you can play uh, Genie Sultan without Legendary Hero and I'm gonna turn this guy into a Genie Sultan and it is not a Sultan because I... Ah, yeah, yeah, I messed up Oh, it's padding, oh, padding can... Padding can mess me up Hey, quick reminder to support me, like, subscribe and use my code MANTI in Rush Rail Market. Right, back to the video. Alrighty, so in this video I want to show you how that you can play uh, Genie Sultan without Legendary Hero. Of course it will not be as OP, as top one, as you would play it with Fortuna for example. Um, but I've, I am pretty confident that I can reach 7 minutes with this deck. Um, of course, <clears throat> it all depends on um, my ability to not get stuck and activate, uh, actually activate my, my genies. Uh, just because, as you can see, I don't play Harlequin. That is the best DPS version of Genie Sultan currently. It is a bit trickier, as you can see, I'm getting um, no genies whatsoever, uh, which is uh, a little bit sad, but uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Right, so yeah, of course, uh, we want to have one blue awakened sword. Um, that is pretty simple. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that, but that's okay. Let's try to find those genies though. I really, really would appreciate them have, having more genies on my board. So let's start using this ability to summon more genies. If you don't get genies, you can always rely on your ability, of course. Um, so yeah, let's move this guy here. And slowly, slowly build our board. Alright. Uh, so we want to get rid of that guy, but we will need guns to get here too. So let's make that. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move him here. And I'm gonna eat him once I uh, set up my board. So let's move this guy here. Scrapper over here. We don't need that, although we can merge it. Uh, well, I'm lucky. Just really hoping. To get a bit more. Mm, let's move this trapper for now here. We need. Uh, Hold up, we need, what do we need? We need to do that. Hmm. And always use your Gunsling ability because it will give you slight, slightly more mana, uh, which is good. And get rid of that, and then we need Genie here. We will move this guy here, and this guy here for now. We're gonna turn it into Genie and then move it to the left side. Like that, and the last genie genies will go here. Of course, need to move. I um, think I will do that and that, and then <clears throat> and then 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 do that. So we are good now, and we can eat this guy. Perfect. Actually, I prefer it to have it here. Yeah, so that would be the setup. Uh, it took me a bit longer. Of course, I don't have the Awakened Sword yet. Um, hopefully, I will get one soon. Um, but that is the setup. And you just scrub. You just scrub. You just turn everything into genies. Like, oh, I pressed it twice uh, by accident. You turn uh, everything into genies. You reduce the merge rank of your scrubbers. And that's basically the um, the gameplay of Genie Sultan. It's pretty simple. Once you once you understand what's the layout, what's the um, formation of the genies, uh, it is pretty pretty easy. Like um, there is no one that can tell you that Genie is a difficult unit, uh, especially not the Sultan one. Uh, 
with the strategy with Sultan being um, uh, giving you so much stacks, like so much stacks, uh, so much extra stacks. It's uh, really powerful. Um, if you ask me if if I recommend going for Ginny now, if you are very close, then yes, I would recommend going for it. Um, looks like we are not gonna get a Awakened Sword anytime soon. So yeah, uh, con to continue. Uh, if you are very close to finishing your Genie deck, uh, or at least Genie to level 15, then sure, finish it. But if you have level 7, level 8, level 9 Genie, and you are thinking about uh, finishing your your uh, genie, and you you are not spending like a couple hundred, like few hundred dollars, uh, then I would not recommend, honestly. Um, just because, uh, oh nice, just because I do think that uh, they might uh, nerf it slightly. Oh, um, if it's gunslinger or genie or um, or Fortuna. Uh, Although I doubt they will nerf Fortuna because it's the newest hero. Um, but they, they will for sure uh, weaken it. Uh, at least something. So yeah, I would not recommend. Uh, I would prefer, if I was you in this situation, I would much rather prefer going for another deck. Or saving up for something new. Something uh, that might come up in the change upcoming changes that are going to be in 27.1 um so yeah that that is just my personal opinion of course i can tell you to not go not go for it uh i can just give you my opinion of uh how, how i would like to build my account giving the um resources that i can have and I am willing to, 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 to give, basically. So yeah. Uh, <clears throat> back to the gameplay. Um, I watched some people play it. Uh, of course with Fortuna you get so much more mana, so much more uh, crit damage and, 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 and stuff like that. Uh, of course it is not necessary to have Fortuna. Not, not even level 60. If you have it level 40, level 50, it can work as well. I should have not done that or whatever uh, You can still play it with Fortuna, but if you have level 80 um, Gadget it can work as well um, So you don't have to worry about it as you can see um, I'm already having 236 stacks to 50 now to be exact um, And I'm not even paying uh, much attention to that just because I'm trying to explain you uh, everything so uh, imagine how I would play uh, with, while being fully focused on the game right uh, you have to understand that whenever I record something for you I'm not 100% focused on the, what I'm doing uh, because yeah it's much harder uh, to focus on a game while talking and explaining uh, so hopefully you guys understand it uh, so yeah Mm. Uh, I know that with Fortuna it's good to have, have around 600 stacks until the death wave or like 500, 600 of course with Fortuna. Um, another vacant. Um, and around 7 minutes it's like 900, 1000 stacks. Um, but uh, I do believe with Gadget 7 minutes is like a limit i would say um but yeah we'll, we'll, we'll check that and see how it goes um i'm aiming for seven minutes i would think i would like to think that it's possible to hit seven minutes with with a gadget uh, especially level lady gadget um but sometimes yeah sometimes uh, i might screw up Maybe game will try to screw me up uh, by not giving me genies to activate. Uh, so yeah, you just 
I don't know, like you have to sometimes practice or just take a loss uh, just because RNG sometimes can mess up your game and, and, and that's fine, right? Uh, it's just a game, sometimes uh, it will not work uh, but it doesn't mean that the deck is bad or you are bad uh, at the game or uh, with this deck, right? Uh, so hopefully you guys uh, know that. Alright, we are at the death wave. Um, I feel like I'm, I keep on talking like I have 400 stacks. As you can see, uh, the stacks will be lower with gadget, of course, uh, just because we are not getting that extra mana. And the margins will also be lower just because I don't uh, get that uh, additional mana. Uh, but nevertheless, I think 400 stacks until the death wave is pretty good result. Uh, re result. English. Um, so yeah, and like I said, uh, maybe I could have gotten like 500 stacks uh, if I focus fully on the game, um, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's move this guy here. I don't even know if I have a few purple tiles or not. Alright, this guy didn't hit us, that's good. Not sure. 460 stacks now. I could catch the Merdrunks with the Gunslinger, but honestly, when I, when I'm recording it, it's already uh, midnight. <clears throat> so, uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm not like fully uh, full full energy <laughs> while doing this, but sometimes uh, I have to take uh, losses and and record something. Uh, late at night for me for my time uh, or uh, very early in the morning so um, just because you know I also have some things to do around the house uh, at work and with YouTube I also do have to make thumbnails edit that so it all takes time so hope you guys understand it as you can see genies were not even activated we dealt with this just fine uh, it's two minutes into the death wave. Uh, we are just rolling, whatever, and doing pretty much the same stuff uh, all the time. That's why I'm not a fan of this deck. I just do it uh, for you guys to show you that it is possible. But I'm not a big fan of this deck, to be completely honest with you. Uh, just because it's just scrapping. Like, uh, nothing else. Don't get me wrong. Um, if someone enjoys it, sure. Uh, but for me, it's just, I don't know, too boring. And there's there's no real planning. There's no real strategy. Uh, at around 4 minutes, I will turn this sword um, into a genie sultan. I will move it uh, to the middle and that will be my game, basically. Because I will just keep on scrapping and, and, and that's it, right? Uh, but yeah, um, this deck is the most powerful in the current meta, so... Um, I understand why people play it. Okay, three minutes, it's tribunal. I think I will want to um, save my my fists uh, for, for it. Don't really feel like getting hit by tribunal. Uh, although tribunal in uh, the death wave is not that scary. Uh, okay, I will get it for sure. Okay. At least Gunslinger didn't get hit. Uh, I got hit just because I didn't have the uh, uh, genies um, activated. But that's fine. I think it's because I didn't uh, save enough mana. Alright, it's 4 minutes. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna turn this guy into a genie sultan. And it is not a sultan because I, ah yeah yeah I messed up. That's okay. Um, that's that's okay. I mean it's not perfect, but uh, I can deal with that. Um, yeah, I didn't notice that I summoned a sultan over there. And um, now I'm stuck. I am stuck. No, I'm not. What is getting merch? Scrappers. Okay, good. Alright, 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 alright. Let's focus up. 
Yeah, I messed up because now uh, I will be much easier. To get, it will be much easier for me to get stuck. I have too many genies on my board. But maybe that is fine. Let's let me see. Hopefully, I don't lose my scrapper. Okay, good. All right, five minutes. Uh, we are still dealing with the wave just fine. It's uh, really nothing to worry about. I still have my face, I still have my uh, Gunslinger ability. Uh, Monkey can really hurt me. Um, so I'm gonna save the fists for him. Amulet is fully stacked, very nice. Alright, maybe 7 minutes might not be possible in this game. Uh, only due to the fact that I didn't... Uh, I messed up with the... Uh, with the... What is going hit? Ooh, this guy. Okay, uh, I mean, that's not the end of the world, for sure. Although, it is getting not so good. Alright, but I think 7 minutes is actually possible. Maybe. Just maybe. This monkey might be a, quite a big problem. But aside from that, can we actually kill it? No. Can we do 7 minutes? Almost. Alright, that's fine. Let's play next game. Alright, this time I hope... <laughs> I really hope that I don't mess my second Sultan. As you can see, it's uh, bright outside. So I'm recording the second game in the morning because, yeah, I just... Then I feel the energy um, to record after 1 a.m. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully this time around I can show you the proper way to play this deck and don't mess my second Sultan because it gives you a lot of damage. Um, too many surprise. And um, let's try it. We have our first Garen Slinger, so let's move our Sultan over here and keep on keep on uh, making our formation okay I think we can turn this one into genie this one as well let's um, mm -mm, let's eat this eat that match that we can leave that as well um that's not what I want. Let's move this one here. Eat that. Uh, eat that. Don't really want that. Hmm. Okay. So I need the uh, one, two, three more genies. Basically, three more genies. Okay, that's one, and I need one more. Mm -mm -mm. I have to be careful about that, it cannot go to tier three though. So maybe I'll eat it. Alrighty, so. Now I need. I need scrap it here too, I need it. Alright. And I need a sword. Enchanted blue sword would be best. Um, but we all know that it might be hard to get. Um, so for now I will just do that. <coughs> and hopefully, hopefully I can reach 7 minutes in this game. 
Um, yeah, definitely in this game I will talk less because I don't have to explain over and over again what I'm doing. Um, because, yeah, like I said in the previous game, the gameplay is very, very easy. Um, oh, nice. We got our genie. Uh, genie, we got our enchanted blue sword. Uh, so we can just now scrap, basically. Right, let's turn this into genie. Uh, I would highly recommend using your piston cooldown and I messed up. Luckily it's early in the game so I can still recover. Right, I need second chopper. I need second chopper to get rid of that. Uh, yeah. I have to wake up fully. Don't mind me. It's okay. You can still recover. Yeah, you cannot allow yourself to lose your scrapper at any point in the game. Because it slows down your progress, it can mess up your whole game, it can block you on the board, so yeah, highly not recommended. <coughs> and many would think um, why I'm letting uh, sword get merchants because I will turn it into um, I will turn it into a sultan in the late game, so that's that. sucks already pretty good we set up pretty fast in this in this game not gonna lie gotta use the ability for some extra mana playing against BD as you can see BD is very popular in current meta it's really good against toxic it's really good uh, as a DPS it can reach almost eight minutes uh, so that's why people started playing it more and more uh, so yeah if you are a fan of Blade Dancer I have my video uh, as to how to play Blade Dancer Glomigdash and so go ahead and watch it and it's it's really effective honestly i tried it against toxic i tried toxic against that and it's it's really powerful honestly it has 50 percent chance whenever um, it gets a flower or being moved to get a cleanse of uh, negative effects so it, it's really effective if you ask me so if you hate playing against toxic i would highly recommend playing um blade dancer blooming dash uh, in the weeks like we just had uh, in the previous week, uh, it just ended and the Dark Domain a faction grew the crit percent bonus damage or other um, uh, faction bonuses, uh, the Toxic will be played and you cannot do anything about it. Um, so yeah, Blooming Dash is a really nice uh, deck, like nice counter into it. All right, 333 stacks. Uh, for me, a Polish man, it, it's very hard to say the TH sound, uh, so <laughs> the number is really cursed for me. All right. Slowly getting there. 350 now. Merchants are looking good, hopefully sword stacks are also looking decent. 
at this point. It's wave 7 already. We got the enchantment for, I think, two waves late, um, but that's that's fine. We should be able to get uh, at least most of our most of our genies uh, with sports stacks. <clears throat> All right, 400 stacks mark, uh, nine percent of damage left. That's pretty not good, um, if you ask me. The max is 25, of course, um, so I guess I would expect to get a bit more. Yeah, now I have 11, right? Or 10.5%? 10, 10 I'm not sure. And see? Okay. So it counted already. Nice. Alright, counter spells are working. 11.5% on Dumbbell now. Um, yeah, let's turn it into the move. And this way, this is what. I would prefer not to hold one stack of a fist. I would always prefer to use it, just to have it refreshed. And because, yeah, it's always stuck, so... Alright, 480 stacks now. Uh, like I said in previous game, I think if I didn't uh, if I didn't talk and explain so much, I can reach five almost 500 stacks, and I just did. Um, so that just proves it. Is it possible to get 1,000 stacks with uh, with um, with gadget? Probably not. Um, um, but we'll try to get as close as possible to that because in that way if you get much more mana now um, so yeah like seven eight hundred would be a really good score as well we have few purples purple um, purple tiles already so that's also good uh, nope Uh, Alright, so the next question would be, uh, when do I start using fists on the boss? I think around 4 minutes, maybe earlier. Uh, I will use it now just because I had uh, a double scrapper on my board. Alright, 600 stacks now. I will just move it here because I have amulet tile over here. Uh, no problem whatsoever. Though my genes are going into deactivation mode. But it's okay. Uh, I want to upgrade my, my trap right now. Alright, let's move the sea here because uh, there's the amulet tile as well. 18.5% now. Um, yeah, uh, I think having amulet stacks at max uh, is also very important, especially for those decks that run amulet of swiftness. Amulet, um, it, it just gives damage to all of your units. Like right? you, you have to care about that. You cannot um, think to yourself, "Oh, that's mm, there's only amulet." No, it's really important. Mo most of the people. And that watch watch my videos. Uh, they they say, oh, Manti, I run the same deck, but I don't have the same results. Like, most of the time, you don't have your amulet max, you don't have sword, fully sword stacks, and other stuff like that. So um, you just have to pay attention to that, and and, and that's it. Once you uh, get a, into a routine routine with that, uh, it's pretty easy. Like you pay attention to that to those little stuff. Um, some just like sword stacks, like amulet stacks, like uh, any other stacks, like genie stacks, for example. Mm, now I don't have my genies activated. Can I deal with that? I can. All right. Nice. <clears throat> All 
Alright, 700 stacks. It's really good. Uh, I think after 4 minutes I will place my blue enchanted sword uh, on this spot and turn it of course into, into a sultan to buff my other genies. Okay, 20.5% on the amulet. Really good. And as always, saving my units from blazing burns. I think I can kill Grandmaster without any problems, right? Yeah, without fist, so that's really good. So maybe I should sh hold on to making it into Genie for a bit longer. <clears throat> I would say maybe like. Um, until five minutes. Not really sure about that, but okay, let's activate them. We'll hold the fist on the for the bedlam. Not really feeling risking my game, if you know what I mean. Oh, it's monkey. Monkey can hurt us. Um, all right, yeah. Let's move this guy here. That's okay. Now we have to wait for the fist to appear. A monkey can hurt us. That's okay. Okay, and then we move this guy here. And then I think I do like that and I scroll again. Nice, very nice. And uh, we will have one fist for the bad lump. Alright, dealt with it easily. It's really good. Five minutes for the seconds and we are not really struggling. We have 830 stacks now. Like you see, the, the gameplay is really easy. Like you don't have to do all this crazy stuff. Uh, sometimes you have to move your gunslinger and that would be it. Alright, didn't really want to get merged. Uh, because I do believe I have some tier 6s on the board. Um, so yeah. Warlock can mess you up as well, um, taking out one of your genies, of course. Uh, Alright, but we should be able to reach 7 minutes, if I'm correct. Alright, we will have fists. Oh, we almost got hit and lost the Sultan. That's really, really insane that I killed it. Uh, Alright, 6 minutes for the... Let's use our gunslinger moves and the ability to slow down the monsters and shred their armor. Alright, we are going. Oh, it's padding. Oh, padding can... Padding can mess me up. But that's still fine. I think. Oh, yeah, it, it will mess me up. All right. Seven minutes, 23 seconds. Come on, we have gadget, come on. All right, previous game was seven minutes, 23. Um, maybe we can beat that, maybe it's a limit. We'll try nonetheless. Um, I always try to make three games just to, you know, uh, have the ability to give a better opinion. So yeah, we'll try to set up again ASAP and get the enchanted blue sword. Sometimes it might be tricky, of course, um, but you have to try nonetheless. Alright, we have our two sultans first. <coughs> So let's remove them and we can start making genies. A 
Yeah, the fist ability is really convenient um, to get your genies on your board to set up even faster. Okay. No, I was really hoping for the for it to be genie. No, I need one more. One more. No, no, not one more. What am I talking about? Um, let's eat that. Let's turn this into genie. Let's move it and move it. Okay, and I think we are good. Are we good? Yeah, because we move this guy and we eat the up here. Yeah. So we will be good. Alright, one wave, first wave, and we have already formation. We all we need is a blue enchanter sword. Of course, the faster, the better, um, for obvious reasons. Always you try to use your fist on cooldown. Of course, use it for the units that are not genie or scrapper, uh, if you have only one on your board. And that needs to be eaten. Definitely. I don't wanna get it to tier 3 because yeah, I'll be stuck with not enchanted blue sword. Always try to catch your merge ranks with Kanskinger, uh, so it's the highest tier, uh, highest merge rank tier, whatever it's you want to call it, uh, on your board, so you can move freely. Right, I still need that scrapper tier to, to eat it. Although I can hold on to that, um, no, I don't think I want to risk it. You know. I don't wanna risk it. It's not worth it. Because it, if it catches the merge rank, um, I'm screwed. So I don't really wanna risk it. Still searching. It's wave 3. I don't have the sword in my body yet. Of course, the faster, the better, um, but sometimes, sometimes it is like that and you can't really do anything about it. I wonder <laughs> if I can go the whole match without blue enchanted sword. Right, we hold, we hold on to that just because it's a uh, boss and it will proc its level 13 talent eternal gaze. was bad. Alright, we are fine with the merge ranks. Now I won't catch with Gunslinger. Eventually I'll get one. One merge rank on him. Just sucks way for and I still don't have my enchanted booster. Like come on. Come on game. This is the game where I don't get my enchanted blue sword. That's why I'm keeping this guy at least, uh, to get at least some stats. Um, but I, that will not be enough in the long term. It's wave 5 already and you still don't have it. Okay, now we are a bit stuck so we have to wait for either scopper ability or fist. Okay. 
Okay, it's tier 2 now. So we have to be careful. Yep. Made it in time, luckily. But I got tier 2 scrapping now. Okay. 10% of my melee. That's quite good. Just hit it. Really, really want to get that spot. Ah, but it's not not happening. I guess. It's really not happening. Now I don't even have any swords. Ay ay. Not going well. I don't think I can beat it just when the game goes like that. Oh, finally. Wave 7. 7 waves. And I just got it. Hey, you subscribed. Does it feel good? Okay, that was my ally, sorry for that. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Honestly. Right, 14% on the amulet. Getting all the enchanted blue swords. Wow. Insane. Alright, wait, wait. We have 440 stacks. Maybe you can get to 500. That would be much better than the last thing. Scrappers, unfortunately. All right, 470. It's good enough. It's good enough for me. Oh my god. Again. Please don't hit me. Ooh, that was way too close for comfort. Alright, hopefully, hopefully, we'll make up for the late blue enchanted sword. Stuck again. <laughs> we have four purple tiles. Okay. I'll wait a bit. Alright, well, come on. Don't stuck me like that. Right, 600 stacks, very close. Now, come on. Yeah, again. <laughs> All of the scrappers. It's like four scrappers in there, I don't know. And I'm stuck again. Yeah, swords are currently not looking good. It's two minutes into the death wave and I don't have any marks. 
And this guy's tier 3 for some reason. Wow, that's 5 or 6 scrappers in a row. Scrappers now. All the scrappers in the world. Scrappers in this game. Plus, the blue enchanted sword was late. But I think I'm doing fine as in terms of um, large runs. Okay, that was tier 1. What? Okay, turn this into Genie and move it. But how did that happen? How did that happen? Oh, okay, that's not good. I can tell you that. Alright, we are out of mana now. Yeah, I don't think I can beat the... Um, the the records from previous game. No, not that the game is going that way. After this monkey will turn the blue sword. Okay. I'll wait for the cooldown. We eat that. We move that. We make this. Now we move that. Oh, but we don't have fists on the assassin. Oh, no, 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 no. That was way too close call. And it's an old assassin. I'll have one fist only. Okay, please don't don't hit me. Oh it's my trapper. Oh I killed it! Nice. Oof. That was loads. Get the fists. Fist. Oh no, man. Yeah. Okay, that's GG. That's completely GG. Yep, that's GG. I uh, can also move this guy. One gunslinger and go ahead. I 
this I have second one now. But in terms of damage, I'm, I'm starting to lock a lot, a lot of damage. Because basically I lost two genies. Oh, another gunslinger, nice. Scrapper. Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm breaking the record from this game, yeah. <laughs> okay. Gadget is really powerful as you could see in my games. It's epic hero. I would highly recommend playing with her. Not only with Genie Sultan of course, but also you can play it with Spirit Master, Tesla, Bard or any other legendary DPS units. Just experiment a bit. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Drop your comments down below with ideas for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching guys and stay awesome.